the consumer has been the engine of this economy, and that will continue. And we've seen that happen in the, in the past, in 2001, in 2016, more recently, where business investment was cut, but the consumer still remains strong in spending. I think there's two different ways to look at this, though, with regards to the Fed. It's, there's a short term, and then there's a long term reaction. Near term, there might be a knee jerk down, but longer term, if we look back at the other times that there were three initial rate cuts before the Fed moved again in, in the up positive direction or took a pause, you saw the market up about 10 percent six months later. I say most recently it felt like, Steve, we, we may be at, at the cusp of that next leg of, of the rally after being, you know, sort of spinning our wheels for a while. Dwyer, Tony Dwyer with Canaccord Genuity was with us yesterday. It's a very optimistic target for stocks. Dubrovko Lakos from J.P. Morgan with us earlier said you could reach some of his 20 targets a little bit earlier. You could pull that forward. There's more optimism, it seems, than there has been of late. Right. Both smart people, Bravo was really focused on China and trade to get you to the next level, and I agree with that. Without that, you're going to have an issue. So I think there are two major events coming up. I don't think the Fed's one of them. I don't think Apple and Facebook reporting is another. Those are very short-term issues. The two major events that are coming up are signing phase one, which will happen regardless of whether you know it's an APAC, uh, that gets put somewhere else, and then uh, Christmas shopping, which we'll get the first indication of right after Thanksgiving, given that it's a consumer-led market and always a consumer-led economy, that we're going to need, see, need to see that spending really pick up. Right now, you've got a healthy forecast for consumer spending over the Christmas, uh, you know, for Christmas giving. We need to see that come through.